Well, I had a little bit of a surprise today when FedEx pulled up with this box. So this is the latest quarterly box for Nomadic for, uh, I guess, spring of 2023. I feel like this is pretty early for this. I actually wasn't expecting it yet. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Nomadic quarterly box unboxing, an early one I think. So if you're unfamiliar with the subscription, you may already know about Nomadic's monthly boxes, really cool. If you subscribe for a year, they're about 30 bucks a month. Always give you about $50 a month worth of like cool camping outdoors gear. Their quarterly one costs a little bit more, about $150, unless you catch a sale on these things. But uh, they're always packed full of some pretty interesting stuff. So this, I believe, is the spring uh, 2023 box. I actually, Nomadic advertises pretty heavily, and a lot of times it's easy to get spoiled for any of their boxes, but I don't have a clue what is in this, and I'm surprised it's actually here this early because I didn't think these start shipping till March. So here we go. Let's open this up and we'll pull some stuff out here, and I'll lay it all out and we'll take a look at what's in this. And there you go, check out all this gear. So it looks like this is the Spring Shelter is the name of this quarter's uh, sub here, and we got seven items running down this list here. As always, you got your nomadic tips over here, the nomadic challenge, a little contact thing, and some brand discounts if you wanna pause that and get that. But look at this mix of stuff. This is pretty cool. And some items I probably wouldn't have expected to see in this. So uh, maybe let's just work down the list. So we'll start with the Exploria All Weather Shelter, which looks like maybe a really high-end tarp. All right, so if you look at the pictures here, we've got a bunch of different use cases for this thing. Looks like for your tent, for the back of a car, just freestanding. Tarps are always really cool, especially uh, ones that are actually made to be used over and over and are actually UV and weather resistant and stuff. It's easy to get a cheap tarp, go to Harbor Freight and get that stuff, but getting one that's actually uh, pretty nice with a lot of these tie down points and everything uh, is something that's good to look out for. So let's see if there's anything to know about it. So we've got a nine point anchor system, great to attach to trees, fences, or whatever else, waterproof coating. Okay, cool. So we won't totally unfold all this because it'd be bonkers to try to look at all of it, but maybe we can get a peek at what is inside. I don't know if it has stakes or anything like that. It may just be the tarp itself. It looks like we've got some other little carrying system. Okay, so we do have some tie downs. Hey, guess what? We do have stakes. All right, let's take a look at those real quick. It's a nice bonus seeing those things. All right, so we've got some fairly nice little campground stakes. These are super, super lightweight. So I'm guessing they are aluminum. We've got those in their own little stuff sack. Tons of cordage and lineage for tying things down and getting things set up. Uh, cool. That is super useful um, around the, the campsite. I tell you what these are actually really useful for too, is if you have a hammock. Having a good tarp with your hammock system is awesome just to set up all day. You got a little bit of a shower coming through and you're trying to hang out outside between some trees. You don't have to worry about it. It actually sounds pretty nice. Pretty good spot to take a nap, by the way. So very cool. All right, so that is the Exploria all-weather shelter. Next up we'll do, all right, here's what I was excited about. The Silky Saws Medium Teeth Pocket Boy 130 folding saw. Big name. But man, silky saws are legendary for being just super, super useful. Let's pop the seal in this cool case too. Got a little plastic seal over here. These are one of these items that just kind of punch above their weight class. So you can see all the documentation on it right here. Five inch saw. Of course, they listed on here for like pruning and stuff like that. Uh, but man, these are awesome for just chopping through stuff. Press this lock down, fold this thing out, um, and you've got a really nice saw that is super comfortable to use. Now, when you're thinking of a saw, you may be thinking of the kind you may have in your garage, which you know works well enough uh, for a short bit of time. But the way that the teeth work on these saws, um, I've heard this type of saw just called a backcountry chainsaw because they will just plow through wood, especially if you're trying to process wood and stuff. Uh, super useful to have. Great to throw in a kit, by the way, if you're building a bug out bag or have a little kit, um, maybe a tote in your garage or something for having adventures or something in your truck like I do. Uh, these things are just worth their weight in gold. And speaking of, they don't weigh very much at all. But kind of folds up like a pocket knife. Super useful. I'm excited to see that. And I'm surprised as many subscriptions as I get for outdoors gear and stuff, I'm surprised I haven't seen uh, more silky saws. So that's fun to see. There's the Silky Saw Pocket Boy, the professional edition. I don't know if there's different variants of that or not, but yeah, very cool. All right, next up, 
we have the Lander Cairn Mini Lantern. That is this guy here, it looks like. So I wonder if it's powered up. I'm guessing it may need to be charged up first, but it's waterproof. Um, it's got a reflective braid. It looks like the little cord and cable that goes here too. It's got a strobe mode, all that stuff. And dimmable, it looks like. Let's see, is this gonna be our charging port over here? Okay. Yep, we got a little charging port right there. It looks like it is uh, micro USB, so that is cool. The brand sounds familiar, but that logo does not look familiar to me. So, interesting though. The Karen Mini Lantern must not come charged up, so I have to charge that up uh, to play around with that. Kind of a cool stone pattern on that. I don't know if you can see the way that rubber uh, is. Very, very cool though. So, neat. Okay, next up we have the Alps Tri-Leg Stool in Deep Sea. So this is the big item that made for the big box here. I like Alps Mountaineering stuff. I have a few tables of theirs. They're super lightweight that I use all the time. Uh, really cool gear. So it looks like we have a pretty nice stool here. Uh, 14 by 14 by 16 inches tall. Weighs about two pounds, 250 pound weight capacity. Okay, so I might have to edit in a bunch of these little knots. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, everything they sent us has a little knot in it. Uh, anyway, I may have to edit in the, the chair all set up so you can get a better look at this. But sometimes just these little stools or little chairs like this are super, super handy. Uh, yeah, I'll edit in how it actually looks when it is set up. It looks like we have a little strap up top to keep it closed. Uh, even a little carrying cord there. Uh, so yeah, we'll set that up off camera, but it holds 250 pounds, so you know that thing is stout. Uh, cool. Really like Alps stuff, like I said. So something that you'll use all the time. And again, something I'd throw in a car, kind of keep it in a trunk or something in case you need it. And that'd be super handy. All right, so Gear Aid uh, Totline Kit. Looks like that is what we have here. All right, so it looks like this is fairly straightforward. Something we take out and run to kind of make a ridge line for all sorts of purposes. Let's pop this open and see if we can look at these gears and stuff. Okay, it's just quickly popping things out of the package to look at over here. We have these little uh, cinch down systems, which I guess you wrap the cord around and twist it in a way that keeps your line nice and taut. Like it says, taut line, uh, useful for towels, jackets, boots, wetsuits. So it's one of those things that, man, you don't realize until you're camping out, like how nice it is just to have a way to get things off the ground, uh, whether you're taking clothespins or hooks or carabiners or that sort of thing, just having it run a quick ridge line. And again, even for stuff like this, even though this has its own cordage for it, but having a tarp, uh, being able to run that ridge line is really handy. So having a system built to do that stuff may take a little getting used to. It's got some instructions here in the back, um, but it's super useful and honestly super fun. It's nice to have gear that is built to do this stuff uh, where you can kind of do a little trick and get your stuff up quick and get your stuff up well. So uh, Gear Aid makes neat stuff. Uh, so I'm interested in that. I don't know if that's actual 550 cord. Yeah. So 50 feet of reflective 550 cord, which again, is also good to have. So let's see. Yeah, this says just tie a simple figure eight and follow the numbered slots to hang gear. All right, pretty cool. Useful stuff. You can kind of see a theme with all this. This is like you set up your tarp, set up your, uh, your little stool below the tarp and hang out. You got lights, you got all this gear to set things up with. You got even the little saw to kind of clean up your campsite. So that's fun. Uh, next up here, we got a gear aid camp carabiner. So again, this is kind of an accessory for that ridge line we just looked at where you can thread it through here at the top and use it just to hang some gear, hang it off a line. And it's got that kind of 360 degree twist, which is useful too. So pretty much exactly what it says in the package. And they recommend it for all sorts of different things, water bottles and lanterns, packs, uh, even little speakers. That's actually a really cool idea, throwing stuff on there. Actually, you could probably use this to hook that onto that, hook that onto the ridge line below the shelter. Again, it's all placed together. So. Uh, cool. And last on the list, we have from UCO Gear some stormproof uh, matches, which are super handy. Uh, I feel like I've gotten these in subscriptions a pretty decent amount lately. I think it's because they're just such a useful item. Uh, so this is the UCO brand of this. Probably has, yeah, striker there on the back. And we got our pack of, oh, we got a little stuffing in there or some tinder too if you want to use that it's probably have an extra little striker in this bag yeah so they typically have some of that stuff uh, but these things again are awesome if you've never used a stormproof matches always kind of go through this tutorial anytime we talk about them but you strike them they will stay lit for a good solid seven or eight seconds big old flame uh, even if you get them wet you can submerge them in the water like actually put them down the water for a few seconds and bring them back out and it will still be on fire uh, so again, if don't strike these unless you want to burn something, uh, if you use them inside the house, beware because they stink really, 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 really bad, have a really strong sulfur smell. 
Uh, man, super useful to having kits. But this many, I'd almost break them up and put them in a bunch of different uh, little prepping kits and stuff. Uh, but awesome to have outside, really fun. Um, I know everybody wants to use their ferro rods outside, but these are pretty fun too, just because of how nearly impossible it is to put these things out. But very, very useful. So it looks like that's it for the spring quarterly box from Matic. We got our tiny little sticker. I haven't received this one yet. Again, their stickers have shrunk over the last few months. Not quite sure why that is, but still really cool getting some stickers in each box. But that is it for the spring uh, quarterly. So spring shelter was the theme. We have uh, that really, really nice tarp. This thing is probably a high value item because these um, aren't cheap when you get the good ones. We have the silky saw, which I love this thing. Even though it's one of the smaller things, probably one of my favorite, most useful things in this kit. We got the Karen mini lantern, which I'm gonna have to pop out and play with that thing. And charging cables and everything else, I'm sure are tucked away down in here. Anytime you get lights, that's always a useful thing to have. So we've got that. We've got the tri-leg stool, um, which I'm sure is gonna be getting a lot of use. We've got this tot line kit for setting up your campsite. We've got the carabiner for getting things up off the ground, and we've got these stormproof matches for getting some heat and getting some fire going and hopefully roasting some marshmallows. So uh, if you want to get the subscription yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description. A fun one to get. The quarterly sub is always a high value package too and kind of a fun surprise to yourself if you're into outdoors, camping, and hiking gear. So really dig this. So that is it for this quarter's unboxing. As always, if you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more unboxings and more cool nomadic stuff like this. We'll see you next time.